What's up Nom Nomers? Today we are going to be doing my take on the stuffed mushrooms from the Ghostbuster cookbooks. I made a couple of changes and I think the recipe is better and I hope you agree. Let's dig in. The first step is to take out the stems from your cleaned mushrooms, which I've already done. Now I'm going to start deviating from the recipe. So I'm going to put my mushrooms into my bowl and we're just going to toss them in a little bit of olive oil and pepper and then we're actually going to bake them. These are going to get baked like three times as opposed to the once that the recipe has. So I've got my olive oil, a pinch of salt, a couple grinds of pepper. And then we're just going to toss it really quick. Practicing my flipping skills. So I've got a prepared baking sheet. It's got aluminum foil on the bottom to catch drippings and then a baking sheet on top. Really what we're trying to do is really dry out our mushrooms so they're not soggy. We're going to start by putting them gill side up. So this is gonna go into my oven, 15, 18-ish minutes until the liquid starts to pool in the center and then we'll take them out. While the mushrooms are doing their first bake, we are going to mince up our stems, shallot, and a clove of garlic. They can all go in the same bowl because they're all going into the same pan at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna just take a little bit of olive oil, put that over medium heat, let that warm up for just a little bit, and then we're gonna add our minced medley. And that goes. And we're just gonna cook this for about two to three minutes until it's nice and soft. So let's take it off the heat, season with salt and pepper. Just a little bit of salt, pepper. Now we wanna put this in a bowl so that it can cool. Now we've taken our mushrooms out of the oven. I'm gonna say my oven's too hot. I'm gonna lower it to like 375, but you can see what we were hoping to achieve. See all this water in our mushroom? So we wanna get that out. So I'm going to use a pair of tongs to do that. So I've got my tongs and a bowl because I'm going to basically pick it up, dump it out, and put it back down this way. These are going to go back into the oven for about another five, seven minutes. Uh, now we just want to make sure all the juices get drained and kind of crisp up the tops a little. The recipe just says to use seasoned breadcrumbs, which is big especially because we're working with blue cheese. Blue cheese is a very strong flavor. So, you know, you're not gonna wanna put blue cheese in rosemary or thyme or anything really bold. So we're gonna keep it simple. I've got a fourth cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm just gonna do a little drizzle of olive oil, a pinch of salt and pepper. And now we'll mix it up. I've got about a half cup of blue cheese in here. We're going to add our minced medley and our seasoned breadcrumbs. So let's put that in there. I am using a Danish blue cheese. The Danish blue cheese is a milder blue cheese and I really wanted to be able to taste the mushroom so I didn't want to use a blue cheese that was just going to overpower everything. Now we just need to stuff our mushrooms. These have been out of the oven for a little bit so they should be cool enough for me to handle. And I'm just going to stuff using my fingers because I think that's the easiest way to stuff. These will hold more filling than you think that they will, so really stuff. When you're done stuffing the mushrooms, you're going to put it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. You're just looking to make sure that the cheese is starting to brown. Obviously the mushrooms have already been cooked. All right, so those look pretty good. Let's get them in the oven. It has been the allotted amount of time, so let's Get them out of the oven. <laughs> well, they're like foaming, frothing or whatever. All right, I mean, they look good. They're like foaming, which is kind of creepy, but since it's Ghostbusters, I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of digging it. I don't know if you can see, I'm just gonna tilt just a little bit like this. I'll try and zoom in. Look at the bubbles. Isn't that kind of gross? But like so on point with Ghostbusters. All right, so we're gonna let these cool off because they are kind of like on fire right now. And then we will see how they taste. 
It's kind of giving me blue cheese stuffed olive feels. Would I make this dish again? I'd make this for someone who really likes blue cheese. So if someone was like, I love blue cheese, I'd make this appetizer for them. But otherwise, it's not my favorite stuffed mushroom recipe that I've had. Maybe I'll make that for you one day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Also, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment. Let me know if you've made this recipe or what you might do differently. All right, see you next time.